Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey, and subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, the Gasparilla Bowl is between the Wake Forest Demon Deacons and the Missouri Tigers. Who do I think is going to win this bowl game? Let's break it down. Now, Wake Forest is 7-5 and five and 3-5 and five in the ACC this season, and Dave Clawson has done a fantastic job as the head coach of Wake Forest. Wake Forest consistently does not recruit as highly as some other ACC teams, but he's had them in the top half of the ACC consistently, but this season they took a little bit of a step back, but they still had a decent season. In week one, they beat VMI 44-10. That was a good win. Then they won at Vanderbilt 45-25. Then they beat Liberty 37-36. That was a close win. Then they lost to Clemson in double overtime in a heartbreaker 51-45. That was a tough loss. Then they won at Florida State 31-21. That was a fantastic win. Then they beat Army 45-10. Then they beat Boston College 43-15. Then they lost at Louisville 48-21. That was a tough loss. Then they lost at NC State 30-21. Then they lost to North Carolina at home 36-34. So three tough losses in a row there. Then they beat Syracuse 45 to 35, and then they lost at Duke 34 to 31 in the final game of the regular season. And again, Wake Forest had a pretty solid season, but it was definitely an underperformance from last year. And part of the reason why is their starting quarterback Sam Hartman was injured part of the season, and he missed a few games, and that really threw off Wake Forest this year. But he was still 247 and 392 for. 3,421 yards, 35 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions. He's a really solid quarterback. His only issue in the past is that he, sometimes he does throw too many interceptions, but he is a fantastic quarterback. He's one of the better quarterbacks in the ACC, especially when he's on. Running back Justice Ellison is 149 attempts for 643 yards and five touchdowns. Really solid running back for Wake Forest. And wide receiver A.T. Perry is 70 receptions for 980 yards and 11 touchdowns. He's Wake Forest's best wide receiver, and he's a great target for Sam Hartman. And on the defensive side of the ball, linebacker Ryan Smita Jr. is 106 total tackles, 36 solo tackles, and a fumble recovery. Linebacker Chase Jones is 66 total tackles, 29 solo tackles, two sacks, an interception, a forced fumble, and two fumble recoveries. And defensive back Chalon Green has 65 total tackles, 38 solo tackles, a sack, an interception, and a fumble recovery. And Wake Forest defense has some solid players, but overall they have underperformed on defense. They really struggle on that side of the ball. And Wake Forest offense is much better than their defense. And Wake Forest offense has really helped them win a lot of games. Now on the Missouri side, now they are 6-6 six and six and 3-5 three and five in the SEC this season. And Eli Drinkwitz has done a decent job as the head coach at Missouri. He has struggled to find ways to win, but making a bowl game this season really helped. In week one, they beat Louisiana Tech 52-24, to and that was a good win. Then they lost at the rivals Kansas State 40-12. to That was a bad loss. And then they beat Abilene Christian 34-17. to Then they lost at Auburn 17-14 to in overtime on a heartbreaker. And the running back, Nathaniel Pete, he fumbled the ball at the goal line only a one yard away, and they lost. Then they lost to Georgia 26-22 to at home. Also a tough loss because they almost beat the number one team in the country, but they fell just short. Then they lost at the Swamp in Florida 24-17. to Very tough loss there as well. Then they beat Vanderbilt 17-14. Then they won at South Carolina 23-10, to and that was probably their best performance of the season besides the close loss to Georgia. Then they lost to Kentucky 21-17 at home. Then they lost at Tennessee 66-24. They weren't close there. Then they beat New Mexico State 45-14. to and then they beat their rival Arkansas 29-27 to in the final game of the regular season to achieve bowl eligibility and help Missouri have a decent season at least making a bowl game. And quarterback Brady Cook is 218 and 334 for 2,509 yards, 13 touchdowns and 7 interceptions. He's not very explosive. He does have some solid performances this season. He doesn't turn the ball over too much, but he doesn't have a lot of touchdowns this season for a quarterback that's played every game. Only 13 touchdowns all season is not that great. He would like that number to be higher, but he is a solid quarterback. He just doesn't really have that deep threat ability. And running back Cody Schrader 157 attempts for 691 yards and 8 touchdowns. Very solid running back for Missouri, and Missouri has had a pretty good running game this year. Wide receiver Dominic Lovett is 56 reception for 846 yards and 3 touchdowns. A very solid wide receiver. And on the defense side of the ball, defensive back Jalen Carlisle is 72 total tackles, 55 solo tackles, a sack, 2 interceptions, and 4 fumble. Linebacker Tyron Hopper is 65 total tackles, 54 solo tackles, 3 sacks, and interception, and a forced fumble. And defensive back Joseph Charleston is 52 total tackles, 39 solo tackles, a sack, and an interception. And Missouri's defense has been really solid this season. They've helped Missouri stay in a lot of games this year. And they've lost a lot of games this year because Missouri could not score that one last time to get the win. But Missouri's defense is really good, and Missouri's offense is solid, but they have had some struggles finding ways to win this year on offense. So who do I think is going to win the Gasparilla Bowl? This is a very interesting game because both teams have some opt-outs. Missouri has more than Wake Forest, more transfer portal players as well. So that will definitely help Wake Forest out a little bit. Wake Forest, their offense is fantastic. Dave Clawson has had Wake Forest consistently have one of the best offenses in the country. It might not have been as good this season because of the fact Sam Hartman got injured and even when he returned, maybe their offensive numbers weren't as good as last year, but they still have great offensive numbers. And Wake Forest defense 
is their Achilles heel. They do give up a lot of yards and a lot of points, but if Wake Forest is able to put up a lot of points, it would really help them win this game. And for Missouri, Eli Drinkwitz, he has a solid team. Missouri has talent on both sides of the ball. Their defense has really helped them win a lot of games, and Missouri's offense has struggled at times to score a lot of points, but if Missouri can keep this a lower scoring game, then I definitely think Missouri will have a chance to win this game because Missouri's defense has helped them be competitive all season, but I think Wake Forest offense might be too much for Missouri, and I'm going to go with Wake Forest to beat Missouri 31-24 to in the Gasparilla Bowl. I think Missouri can win this game. They have a lot of talent, even though they have some opt-outs and transfer portal players. Eli Drinkwitz has a solid team. Missouri's offense is good enough to keep them in this game, especially with Wake Forest defense not being the best, and I think Missouri's defense is really going to be able to slow down Wake Forest from having as good of an offensive game as they normally have, but I think Wake Forest offense will be able to score enough on Missouri's defense, and I think Wake Forest defense will be able to play well enough to stop Missouri's offense, and I think Wake Forest is going to beat Missouri in the Gasparilla Bowl 31-24. to Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below whether you think Missouri or Wake Forest is going to win this bowl game and why, and I will see you next time.